Speaking of wine, we have a, a warning for wine lovers tonight. Mm -hmm. All supply chain issues we've been having could mean a wine shortage on store shelves. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Are, this, you, are this, you hanging in there? Are I was upset okay? when I saw this. Yeah, yeah. It could affect maybe C.J. McCollum's wine. He's a big winemaker now. Yep. Coin mm -hmm. 6 going beyond the headlines tonight to find out what the problem is. Now, it's not a lack of wine that's being produced. There's plenty of that. It is getting it packaged, shipped out, and distributed. So we spoke with the president of the Stoller Family Estate Wine Group today, Gary Mortensen, who tells us that they do have their eye on a number of supply chain issues from the glue and the paper for the labels to the closures for bottles to the bottles themselves. That's a big one. He says they have been calling glass suppliers to prepare, and he's not sure how extensive the problem will be. I will say this about our Oregon wine industry. We have uh, we have faced historically low yields the couple last couple of years. We faced uh, smoke and fire. We faced pandemics. And this is just one more challenge that our industry is facing. And, and uh, the good news is we're an incredibly resilient uh, group and uh, we will figure it out. Yeah, he seemed confident they will figure it out. Okay, so it's not just wine. Westward whiskey produced in Portland also facing bottle issues. The CEO confirms that it's taking three times as long to get their special bottles from Mexico City, and that has meant hmm. lost sales.